Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. To Ohio State, Michigan is that school up north. To many in Michigan, they won't even say Ohio State, just calling them Ohio instead. Both teams find excellence in their long and storied history, and the Wolverines and Buckeyes set to do battle in the game. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Daniels has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Raw fields at the goal line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. It. He's in space. Brought down at the 29. A five-yard gain. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. He gets rid of this one. Bozeman's into running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but he doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 29. Play fake and looking to run. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Frederick gains around two yards there on the misdirection run. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Bucks. on the extra point. So that's a six-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown goal. Ohio State ready to kick this one off. Bryant fields it at the nine, and he's tackled at the 34. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Throws complete. He's hammered. Game seven yards. That'll bring up 
are second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Kramer is the punter. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Ohio State is up by a touchdown. They'll bring him down at the 42. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he's tackled at the 41. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. Six-yard line. That's a loss of seven yards. That makes it third and 15. They'll line it up again on third down. play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Yates to punt. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Ohio State's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Yeah, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's tackled in the open field. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Throw in left. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me he was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Run, 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 run. 
Harris, the ball carrier, tackle around the 39-yard line. Run and he's brought down. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. Mike five. Mike five. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The Buckeyes with a touchdown lead. Back for more action here in quarter number two. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. It's first and ten. Ball of the 22. And two. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 11-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. This is the ninth play of this drive. Caught for the touchdown. The game coach. Oh, and the fullback God. was wide open on that one. Now the defense again completely forgot about him and he made him pay for it big time. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. In this rivalry, winning is only part of the fun. The other part is making the other guy miserable. And for Patrick, he scored a touchdown. We've got a 7-7 game. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's tackled at the 40. Shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Gets out to about the 31.
You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Short over the middle. He's and he's taken down at the 45. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. And they make the stop to 39-yard line. First down. Six-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. That makes it seven. Just about three yards there. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly, and again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 68-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Michigan lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 21. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five wide. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Quick throw. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 26-yard line. six-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Bryant, the return man. <laughs> Tackle at the 46. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Michigan is up a score. And 
he's tackled around the 40 yard line. Palmer on the tackle at the 40 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. Michigan's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Mike five, Mike five, black five, black five. Deep pass to the end zone, and he will score. For Morris, he gets his second touchdown in the passing game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. He makes the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Mustangs key it up today, rank 20th. The Mustangs have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Mustangs are on top, 7-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Daniels, ready to kick. He'll take it from the two. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 43-yard line. The Buckeyes are going to call their second timeout. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. Mike 35. Mike 35. Ready. Round 50. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. Slings it out there incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. He passes it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. And for Stokes, he raises his season receiving yardage to 1,000. No disrespect to the receiver. I mean, 1,000 yards is an incredible number no matter what. But don't forget about the quarterback who's been throwing the football and making great throws all year. A lot of credit should go to him. Going for it all to the end zone. Alford was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. Short pass, middle of the field. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Ohio State's called their final timeout. And this play is number eight on the drive. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He wants it all going long. Leaps picked off. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. The Wolverines lead it by two touchdowns. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally, That was an easy answer, well, yes. I, I totally <laughs> get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man-to-man -man and giving up big plays. Play. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you're doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese David, thanks guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26. The Wolverines are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for it. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Caught with room to work. And he's level at the 40-yard line. First down. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Gets out to around the 48. That makes it second and two. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 49-yard line, first down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Catches it, and he's punished. waiting for the snap. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Slings it left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line. It's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he tackles him hard at the 31. He 
zips it out to the left. Off his hands, incomplete. Sims was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's tackled at the 48. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. He's at the 40. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. Stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. He gets out to about the six yard line. play of the drive. Rock gets the ball. And they hit him in the backfield. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. SMU in front, 24-14. All right, Reese, back to our game. Moore has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the seven. He's tackled at the 28. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. It's second and 11. Ball on the 27-yard line. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Wolverines in front by 11. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Nice run there. Harris gains around six yards on the draw play right there. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. left and he's taken down in the backfield. Hey, 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 hey. 
Rose left, the running back's got it. And they make the stop at the 47. Kramer awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. Michigan's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11. They play like they know they're going to stop you. We're about set to start things up again. Makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. Right on left, right on left. Four down, four down. 35 to Mike. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. He's going to go for the home run. They'll bring him down right around the 34. Boy, this offense right now has got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. They hit a big play right there. Now if they can just get the ball into the end zone, you never know what could happen. He fires this one. And he's tackled right around the six-yard line. they practice that one a few times so the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion and they get the two they line up to kick this one away from the seven and he's hammered down the finish line's in sight let's see who wants this one more it's a big opportunity for this offense they've got the lead now they want to just try to manage this clock and be smart with the football and see if they can work as much clock as possible and they're going to put six dbs on the field to counter that five receiver look now he's going to run and watch out brought down at the 36 yard line that's a deep level First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Michigan has a three-point lead. Black five! Black five! Fires right side, got his tailback. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. Gain of 17 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. <laughs> 